Okay, started. I started too. Oh, it started. Okay. Hello, everybody. I'm Seth and Eve. And I'm you guys there? And I'm Champion Era 49. And I'm Tails. Okay, cool. And this is the hashtag Poodcast. Woody made up the name, I know. Today, yeah. we are going to be talking about Tomb Raider, Rise of Ra Tomb Raider, whatever the name is, DLC, Rise of the Tomb Raider DLC. And how it's and complete how it's fucking weak. bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. And we'll talk about more about DLC. So, who, who would like to... Um, I think you should start. Okay, then. It is fucking bullshit. I hate it. Yeah, I completely agree with that. You have to pay for fucking herd mode? You think I'm really gonna pay for herd mode? just shit one time, and it was fucking bullshit with The Last of Us. And if, not, if Naughty Dog does it, and it pisses me off, I'm gonna do the same- It's gonna be the same way for fucking Tr Square Enix. So, okay. Um... As I'm looking at it, there will, the DLC will be in Kurds. Oh, I can't say it right, but C A U R D. I hope I spelled Kurds right. Yes, I did. Card. Um, they're gonna be expansion. I think that's what it is. Expansion, expansion Kurds. And these will be from strongest to strangest, I guess. Some of some of them last forever. I think maybe all of them do. I don't entirely. But here's the one that really makes me mad: big head mode. Oh, you can't forget about chapter replay. Yeah, what chapter replay charging for you chapter wanna... replay too. Yeah, chapter you want to you want to replay a level? Fucking give me money. That's bullshit. You want a big head mode? You know, a fucking cheat code? Give me money. It's just like I'm fucking... swearing. It. I'm you like take fucking you, combat you, waves? Uh, fight, huh? Fight of enemies? Yeah, of my enemies. You know, like the green up each other, do you? Yeah. Oh my fucking. And the game will be sixty dollars, like any other fucking game. And this is a season pass. A season pass. Thirty dollars. So the game will be ninety if the season pass as well. And this is. 300 DLC packs. 300, really? Yeah, 300. 300. That's fucking bullshit. Why? I don't entirely know if they're all gonna be at launch. But, since they announced it all, why couldn't it be in the game? I can understand some things might take some time. Maybe, like that mode where you can fight enemies and stuff like that. That might take some time to do. But, herd mode should already be in the game. Big head mode should be a fucking cheat code. Unlimited health or whatever the heck they're calling it. Again, should be a cheat code. Why do I need to pay for it? Wow. So they're charging thirty dollars for this expansion pass. Yeah. Oh my fucking god. There's a new tomb to explore. One, why can't that tomb be in the game? It might take some time, yes. But well, why not with the fucking if game it is. programming, though? If it is launch DLC, I, I don't entirely know if it is. If it's not, that's fine. Release it as DLC. It it might take some more time, but if it's at launch, I'm going to be pissed off. And here's another thing that pisses me off about the game. I don't have a PlayStation for I don't have an Xbox One. I don't even have a 360. I don't have a PC. All I have is a Wii U and PlayStation 3. Those two are the only two consoles that are not getting the game. Don't forget yeah. about Wii. Well, I don't give a shit about the Wii right now. The Wii's been dead for uh, months now. True, but like, still, like, like it's just bullshit that they're releasing it for last gen. Like, PS3 and Xbox. But it's only for fucking 360. That is bull. 
And don't you dare tell me, it's like, oh, we won't release our, our game on mediocre consoles. You released Made it Underworld, I think that's what it's called, yeah. on the Nintendo yeah. DS. Really? Yes, they released it on Nintendo DS. Hey, you're forgetting they put it on PS2 as well. And PS yeah. And PS3 as a standalone and on the fucking Tomb Raider trilogy. I feel like Tomb Raider is an ex- like- around Xbox, because I heard Anniversary, Underworld, I, I'm probably getting that name wrong, and I don't know about Legend, but I think those all three have DLC, right. exclusive to 360. Alright, here's what they are. Alright, you're referring to games by the trilogy, so yeah, um, it's Tomb Raider Legend, Tomb Raider Anniversary, and Tomb Raider Underworld. Underworld. What did I say? Yeah, I said Underworld. Yeah, so you're getting it right. Okay, that's good. Um, one other modes is there. Hmm. I'm gonna go. Oh wow, your mic oh, fucked up. Mic fucked up. It did? Yeah, it was like. Well, I just said I'm going to another article. Oh. My screen went oh. black for a second, so maybe that's the problem. Alright, you will some in-game content, such as outfits, weapons, and expansion cards. So maybe those aren't all the deal. It will be will be available and continuing for more than four months. Wow, wow. That's good and all. Let's just hope it takes that long to make the DLC. If they have it done, and they're gonna release it four months from now, it's stupid. It can be in the game. Yeah. Yeah. I don't care if it's a costume. I don't care if it's 50 cents. It's not. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Alright, here's my article here. Alright. So I... I'll put... We'll put all the, um... Links to the articles in the description below. At least I will for my version of this video. But anyway, um, all right. So Microsoft has revealed Rise of the Tomb Raider will have microtransactions and also given some insight in what DLC we should expect from the season pass. So like what Three Bros said in the past. All right. So you said it was thirty dollars, right? Yeah. All right. So thirty dollars. Alright, on the microtransaction front, the publisher explained these will take the form of game-modifying items called exp Expedition Cards. That's what you meant. Alright, so oh. expedition, expedition Cards. Outside of the main campaign, you'll be able to use these to access better armor and perks. Why? And aesthetic differences. What the fuck does aesthetic mean? Tails, do you have any idea? No. Hmm. Look it up. Somebody look it up. I'm bad at it. I'm bad chicken at bomb. <laughs> what? Throw chickens. What? All right. That's a cheat code. In my eyes, it is. You know. Dude, that's cool. I'm going to buy that. <laughs> no! You're giving them ideas. You're just fucking... <laughs> what? You're just You're giving them ideas. Giving... Don't do it. <laughs> But it's fucking chicken bombs! Oh my god! I'm gonna see that you bought it. Say, hey, he likes that. Let's make more stupid bullshit that costs his money before the game's launch. Wait, you can't buy it right now. <laughs> Alright, so you can get better armor. Alright. Um, I can uh, DLC them, but here's what pisses me off. Why do we have to <coughs> fucking charge for it, alright? Like, yes, I get it. They're not, they might not, may not be forcing you to buy it. But, just the fact, like, for those completionist type people, like, for people that want to unlock everything possible okay. in the game, Backfire. that just makes them fucking impossible to do without spending money. And that's this is another one. Shoving it down Guys, the this is another one. It's called Backfire. What is, what it? is it? Someone just lure a burst into flames. Now that's awesome. That's a cheat code. I was ready that. That's a fucking cheat code. Amazing. Oh, this is so fucking sexy. All right. All right. Okay. Here's some more contents from the leaked 
thirty dollars season pass. All right. The post gives the name of what you'll be getting, along with a brief description of each item. All right. Endurance mode. Oh, here's another one. Baby we Yaga. It. Baby fucking Yaga. Cold Darkness Awakened. And in game contact. Oh my god, okay. In game contact. Oh my way. god, I win. So oh. Fucking, uh, fucking Skullpact, Remnant, Resistance, and Chapter Replay. Chapter okay. Replay. This is what lets you keep the skills and equipment that you acquired on your first playthrough. That sounds like a. New Game Plus to Yeah, me. that's a fucking New Game Plus. Yeah. It's not a chapter replay. I guess it could be a chapter replay. You know, the thing that's in pretty much every game but the Saints Row series and three... Four, is it in Get Out of Hell? Oh, um, I don't oh. think it is because I haven't seen it. Well, why? Oh, why can't you lucky, do missions? Lucky. The Lucky Perk. What, what is that? that? Cause enemies to drop real... That's How much does it cost? Shit. Is this gonna be in the season pass or DLC? Oh, this is all on DLC. Blake, this is a cheat code. Unlimited supply of fire arrows. That That's like, like an infinite like, ammo cheat code. That should be something that you can fucking get just from, like, <coughs> unlocking it in the game, not fucking paying for it. Yeah. That does sound like a, like, oh, beat the whole game with an a with a bow and arrow, and then you unlock this in it. Arrow, fire, gun thing, whatever you guys are talking about. Yeah. Alright, uh, here's another one. I'm going on another article. This is so stupid. I know. Alright, cool. So, DLC. Alright, so right when the PS2 bit came out and, P and DLC started becoming a thing, I bet that I know what every fucking person was saying. They were all like, Awesome. All right, cool. We can finally get this new shit in games and stuff like that. That was back when DLC was actually somewhat acceptable. Now it's just going well, over. But hard and fucking unlimited fire error. That is stupid. Back then, I thought I we we're not that old. No, it was like a couple years ago because we weren't really that big of an age to play these kind of games. Because we're all sixteen, aren't you? Fifteen. I'm fifteen and a half. Okay. Half. Yeah, we're not that old, and we can realize this is a bad idea. Yeah. Well, not yeah. a bad one if money is a one because a lot of people is gonna buy these. Yeah. And DLC back then, the, in my opinion, this is how I think. I don't entirely know how it was back then. I don't know if there's cheap deals, like cheap like well. Modes for yeah, hard I, mode. I, I think that fucking DLC back then was like maybe five bucks at the most. No, I don't mean like money. I mean like stupid things like herd mode and other invincibility packs. I I think back then it was like, oh my god, my game is like adding new things just for a bit of money. That's awesome. Now today it's like put it in the game before you release it. Awesome! Let's do it. All right. Who, uh, wait. Oh, what? You you want to make it actually like unlockable instead of forcing them to pay money? Fire him. He's thinking outside the box and anything with a fucking rational mind. <laughs> fucking oh, fire him. Um, you know what? I don't really want to say because I feel like I'm gonna give a game developer an idea. What happens if HD remasters have deal on them? Oh my god, that'd be fucking tragic. Like, let's say, um, fuck, what game should be remade? Let's say San Andreas got remade again, and it wasn't shitty this time. And they added DLC to it. Would that be bad? Oh, wait, wait, alright, oh, alright. Square Enix has confirmed the PC version of the game will arrive in early 2016. While console's exclusivity will last for a year, this means Rise of the Tomb Raider won't land on PS4 <laughs> until holiday 2016. And remember, ladies and gentlemen, that are looking at my screen. These are in fucking quotes. Like, where are they at? Like, and the Xbox right One and Xbox 360 versions are due for release on November 10th, 2015. That is in eight days. Really? As the time of this recording. Wow. This is just so, like, it's, 
It's just like the fucking DLC band do this for both things in the game originally and all that shit. This. Alright, I have to say something. This was on articles made when I'm reading is October 8th. It's November. So, I can understand some of them being released after launch a while because some of them might take some time. But if I see launch DLC, if it's launch DLC, I don't mean costumes opens because that's. And if I see herd mode at launch, that's stupid. Why couldn't they put it in the game? Yeah. Give me one good reason why they should not put that in the game right now. I know. It's just like, fuck you, give, fuck you, give me money. Thanks for referencing Angry Joe. You're welcome. Did you? You're welcome. Yeah, I knew it. <laughs> oh, speaking of Angry Joe, I watched this Halo 5 Guardians review. Oh, God. And... With all his little math, there's, there's DLC in that game. Alright. Alright. And uh, if you want, I think it's costumes, I don't know what entirely what it's called, but if you want to unlock all of them, you have to get gold cards. And whenever you get a gold card, you unlock two of them. Uh, hope you get a rare one, I think. I don't entirely know. But if you buy all these gold cards, it is over a thousand dollars to get. All right, and how mu how do you exactly achieve uh, obtain these gold cards? You buy them. You have to buy them. You can't fucking unlock them in game or any of that. You have to buy. No, them. you can unlock them. They're like, I think ten thousand points each. I'm not entirely sure. So the game has a point system, or do you have to pay play multiplayer mode? And but he said something like every like ten matches, if you're good, you get like nine hundred points. So, and, basically, if you don't want to pay money, it's just really fucking tedious. Yes, and he also said that if you want to unlock it all by yourself, it is over 600 hours into the game. Really? Yes. Well, well for fucking Xbox fanboys, that won't be a problem. They fucking jerk it to the case. No. I probably just Let's just not make... Let's just not make of fanboys. I, I probably just let's pissed just off a lot of people. Yes, it probably did. So let's not piss off fanboys. <laughs> but even though we are by talking about how much the DLC tactic sucks, let's talk about. I want to say something else about DLC that I have to get off my chest. I hate for DLC. Modems was the worst. Oh, you go to this sir, this character. Oh, you pre-order from that sir, you get another character. Characters never released in the game. At least not that I know of. Maybe they did, maybe they didn't, I don't entirely know, so if I, if you comment like, oh, you didn't know, they did, I'll be like, okay, I'm sorry, I didn't know that, but if they did, it's stupid. Well, you could just download the character anyway off the Martian network where you can download characters and vehicles. Yeah, I remember us yeah. having older videos. Yeah, one of our really old videos have that. It was like one of us playing as Hank Hill and bitches. No, I um, think like, we were playing as Hank Hill and I was playing as Gat. <laughs> Johnny Gat? Yeah. I don't know. No way. I think I was playing it. I was looking at a DLC pack. Saw the mode. I just remember that. I the mode. I don't association with that stupid game. But yes, herd mode. A mode in the game is a secret. <laughs> ultimate shortcut pack. Huh? Battle's Zero's ultimate shortcut pack. Is that? You can spend 50 to unlock everything in the game. Really? Why would you? Or play over 100 hours to unlock it. I gotta play over 100 hours because I'm getting my fucking money's worth. At least it's satisfying to at least unlock everything. Yeah. Oblivion's Hearse Armor. Yeah, I used to fucking have Oblivion. That was stupid. Um. Uh, okay, I don't know what this. Ha I don't know how this is pronounced. Um, I'll type it in the Skype chat. Hopefully you guys will be able to see it. Oh, no. Oh! What happened? No! Nope. What? I keep, like, turning I off and on every time I'm touching the fucking thing. It draws wrath. I don't know. Pay for Do? First draft's final mission. Oh, my fucking... God. You gotta pay for that. Who Why? Made, who made Ashura's Wrath? 
I think Capcom. Fuck you, oh, Capcom. Oh. oh, you know what? Capcom is probably saying, yeah, remember that? Let's just forget about that. Street Fighter V, all the DLC is unlockable. Thank God. That's great. Thank God. That's Thank awesome. I like, oh, I'm going to release character. this. If you want to buy this character instead of unlocking it, go you ahead. If you have the money, go ahead. If you don't, but you, still, but you still want to? Resi yeah, okay, I got another one. Resident Evil 5's versus mode. Mercenaries mode? No, versus. Did what? That game, did that game have a versus? Yeah, you have to pay for it. Oh, wow. That's stupid. Remember Resident Evil 6 DLC being on the disc? Yeah. I think all of it was on the disc. And you all pay money for every single one. It was. I, I also have Splatoon's DLC was on the disc as well, but I'm gonna give that one a pass because all that DLC was free. Yeah, and remember fucking Mortal Kombat 10's um DLC, fucking five yeah, dollars for Goro when he's already 100% on the goddamn disc. He's on the disc, but you need to buy him anyway. Okay, worst DLCs, Dylan, they did mention The Last of Us Grounded mode. I was right. Was and like, they seriously. said, and they said it's fucking bullshit, but however, the DLC is free on the PS4. Yeah, it's free on the PS4, but what about the PS3 users? It's like giving the big fat middle finger to the fucking PS3 users. Alright, Street Fighter X Tekken, you had to buy 50% of the game. Really? What the fuck? Why? Black Ops 2 DLC, because it was just... Most of it was Black Ops 1 maps. That's Actually, that's why, I'm, that's why I'm reading from this article, so if I'm wrong, blame this Reddit article. I have, something, article. I have something to say. If you release classic maps, go right ahead. But sprinkle some new maps in there so people feel like they get their money's worth out of it. Yeah. If I get yeah. some classic maps, I would rather have more new maps for something that fucking I can do, I can see something new. I don't want to see the same exact maps all the fucking time. Yeah. Even oh, though they wait, wait, are probably wait, all right. very great. Alright, yo, I just read something from my article. Alright. Here's back going back to fucking Rise of the Tomb Raider. All right, there are two types of expedition cards: foil and common. A foil card will give Laura the strongest and strangest variation that can be used as many times as you wish. A common card is only used once, and you'll need to earn more credits to buy it back. You need to buy the fucking expedition cards. You can't re-earn them. You have to fucking buy them, and that's also on top fucking. Thirty leaks thirty dollars in the past with all the bullshit. You see, yeah, that's stupid. Oh, you know what I heard about Metal Gear Solid Five. You, I already told you guys this, but maybe some of the collector's edition has this with eighteen unfinished cutscenes that does something with the plot to make it more consistent. I think. Which so. is in a full game. Alright. I can tell you I was unfinished, but still. Batman's. Lego Batman's DLC. One of the Euros for a five minute level. What? Really? For Lego Batman, what? Lego Three? Batman 3 Beyond Gotham. I love Lego Batman 3. I have it on Wii U. I don't have any of the there DLC. There you go. It won't let's buy it on the Wii U because it doesn't have any of it. I would like to buy maybe. Some of the characters, yeah. I think it's kind of worth yeah. it. I don't entirely know if it came out on launch. If it did, that's stupid, and I would never buy it, but I if don't know came, right now. If it came out, like, later on. <laughs> but, since I got the Wii U version, I can't get any of the DLC. Alright, Street Fighter 3 Third Strike Color Packs. What the fuck? Hey, to change your character's fucking color. Oh Why? God. Madden 2010 Elite status. Well, it's Madden. NFL and Madden are both greedy as hell. Like Which, all of us know by now. Guess what Elite status is? What? Just guess. Hard mode. What the? <laughs> fucking damn it! That guy's gonna slap the fucking duck again. Give me five soft points. Get <laughs> that! I'm slapping the duck. Stop Beautiful. looping.
All right, beautiful Katamari, extra levels. <coughs> Toss my Katamari. Depends. Toss my Katamari, Square Enix. Toss it, it toss it good. Anything from the Xbox Live or PlayStation Home avatar thing. Yeah, I, I, used, I used to be, like use the fucking PlayStation Home shit, and yeah, like I could basically all I could do was take was walk and leave my house without paying money. Yeah, I when <laughs> oh home, oh my fuck. wait wait when PlayStation Home oh, was no, a, no, no, do this what Railworks Train Simulator 2012 everything what. Hey. Dang. It's going to cost you over a thousand U.S. dollars. Everything! Okay, what's the name of this game? Railworks Train Simulator 2012. Railworks Train Simulator. What? I don't fucking know anymore. What do I do? What <laughs> yell? Everything! Alright, can you spare music packs? Oh my. 160 Microsoft points, better pay. <sighs> you know what would be a great idea? What? Fine. Uh, no, make them trick to train. No, the character has to. Only your character can fall by the and by the d. <laughs> yeah, can you imagine Mario on the bike? Oh! Oh! I'm too. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm in, a, I'm in a fucking place. <laughs> and then Luigi comes by with a death stare. And he's like, "Oh shit!" <laughs> he, Luigi, what? Ma, what? <coughs> well, like, like seriously, that's stupid. Like, oh my god. That's just too. <coughs> and you know what sucks? DLC that gets taken off the story. Yeah, like, like Gret, like, not Gret. Want this temporary time. Guitar okay. Hero Three. Guitar Hero Three. All the DLC was taken off. If you didn't get every single one, bye bye. Yeah, it's just like too bad. You you have to put up with not getting it. They didn't do something like, hey, it's ending today. It's all free or something like that, so everyone can get it. No, it still cost full price. Every. I think it wasn't full price though, but I'm not entirely sure. Yeah. But still, yeah. it wasn't free or anything like that. If it was free, I'll download every single pack. Yeah. Cause like I, w I was interested in that DLC, but I wasn't able to get it since I was too late to get it. And it's stupid that. Oh my really God! This is the best fucking pun ever. <laughs> what? What? Destiny, real sixty dollar DLC for Halo. <laughs> 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 oh, you know what? A, a huge bullshit. A giant fuck you to the console people. What? Minecraft DLC. Oh, the fucking skin packs? Yes, the skin packs, the texture packs, well, those are the only two things. Those cost money on consoles. They cost money on the pocket edition. And the pocket edition, you can go online and download your own things. Oh the PC version, you can download god. your own things. Oh my god. Like, still, like, okay, the consoles can't do mods. Every other skin's for free, why can't those? I already paid $20 for the game. Not even that, only console version, oh. the skins aren't even that good. Like, Assassin's seriously. Creed well, Unity. Treasure chest. What? What does that mean? Um, you, and for the love of God, if you say herd mode, I'm gonna freak out. When 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 you first learned how to open the regular chest, there was a microtransaction chest sitting next to you. This was Ubisoft's way of making sure millions of gamers who played Assassin's Creed Unity was introduced to its new mo money making scheme. The only thing <laughs> you have a microtransaction menu on your <laughs> event face. But it's another to populate a retail price game world with gl glowing chests that require real money to open. Oh my I have an God. idea. I have an idea. Let's make Pokemon. Real life money to buy Pokeballs. 
<laughs> no, the things are essential to getting fucking Pokemon. Let's make it cost money. <laughs> it shouldn't be because it's an idea and someone will take it. Okay, this article says the number one worst DLC, Sonic Lost Worlds, pre-order lives. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I, I fucking re remember that. Yeah, I remember uh, watching the <laughs> Alpha's video of him talking about it. You only yeah, get twenty. Really you only sweet. get twenty-five of those lives, and, uh, and it's they're gonna be gone at least in like a freaking half an hour. And the thing is, at launch, I I heard from Sonic Lost World at launch, a hundred rings didn't equal a live, so it was kind of hard to get them. But now, a hundred rings equals a live. So when now, if you look back at that, it's like what the fuck because. I have so much lives in Sonic Lost World because I get 100 rings and I can collect all that stuff. Yeah. Because, like, I feel bad for anybody that buys into all this stupid DLC crap. Because, like, seriously, <coughs> like, I really do feel bad for anybody that buys it. Because I caved into it with freaking The Last of Us with their stupid crossbow and ground mode. But the crossbow was entirely my fault. I, I I was foolish enough to actually want to, and I knew that it was just a crossbow. But with ground and mode, that's what pissed me off. Yeah, I bought a lot of DLC on Uncharted 3, and I kind of oh, feel okay. bad. Gears of War 3 weapon skins. Gears of War 3 had weapon skin DLC? Yeah. Do you just change the look of your weapon? That's like Sonic Generations releasing a DLC pinball man. Oh wait, they did. They did. De Dead the space. Yes. Well, that isn't as bad as other All right, bullshit. Dead it's space. Just kind of weird. Two twenty-five for the power-ups. And what? Dead space. Why? You're kidding me. No. No. Oh my no. god. It says pain power ups. Dead space. Oh my god. And then it shows a little funny Mario screenshot saying press <laughs> and enter your credit card information. <laughs> oh, I have to say one thing though. I will not bash um mobile game DLC if the mobile game is free on certain occasions. If it's not free if the game is free, but the microtransactions help you unlock things easier, but it's actually possible to unlock everything without them, it's fine, because you need money from a free game as well. Yeah. But plus... if the game either costs money and has DLC on it, uh, it's free, but it's almost impossible to get everything without paying money, it's stupid. And the reason why I find this stupid, even if the game is paid or not, it's a mobile game. It's something you play on your free time. Yeah. Like any other game, yeah. though. But, like, oh, I'm I'm on a train or something. I'll pull out my phone and play. Why would I need to pay so much money to do all this stuff? Oh, yeah. No, you know, when you're on a train, you can't even pull out your phone to play the game because it'll tell you to connect to the damn internet. Yeah, it would. Yeah, like with freaking um, Walking Dead Road to Survival. And freaking, I think it was Gangstar City. Like, I think, I'm pretty sure that even Gangstar City does it. What require? Yeah, I think Gangstar City required internet. Yeah, because like it does that all all that like DLC crap with your personal crib. Remember back then when you pre-ordered a game and you got like a keychain like, or something some cool? Yeah, you got something that was actually somewhat worth it. And like even if it wasn't that worth it, it's something. Yeah, but nowadays it's just like, pre-order this game and you get a map that's going to be even free DLC later down the road anyway. All oh, for an extra oh. $5. I have to say something. Sonic Boom? A lot of people don't like this game, and yes, I like it a little bit, but it had a pre-order DLC. Oh. And what do you get you know for is? that pre-order right. DLC? Godfather. Godfather. In-game money. Alright, fuck off. Even um, MLB, MLB does that at the same time. Um, Sonic Boom's pre-order DLC was neon costumes for everybody. Oh. My. God. 
And you know what? What the fuck? It has what? never released on the store yet. Even on the back of the case, it says Mevis and DLC download. What? It has no DLC because nobody bought the game. No, shut the fuck up for a minute. Jersey Shore, Snooky Hair. Two what? Colors. What? <laughs> Avatar. What game? Xbox Avatar. Why? <laughs> That's it. Woody Rat, go. Nobody wants that bullshit. <laughs> Whoever made Jersey Shore. Fuck off! Because nobody wants snooky hair! Because Snooky is bad! Everyone wants Woody outfits! Woody and Buzz outfits! Buzz away! Yeah, there are Toy Story 3's whole page! Those are not wild Woody skin! <laughs> I need Coca Cola! This video is not sponsored by Coca-Cola. <laughs> Remember, you can't go without a drink without saying... <laughs> <laughs> so how was the Woody rant, guys? Oh, no, no, okay. While I was looking up worst DLC, <laughs> I found a funny thing. What? 25 worst things they could sell as DLC. Alright, read them off. Mode? Burn mode? Toilet paper. Oh my fucking god, no, what? No, this is for real life. What they could do for real life. Oh my god. Vanilla frosting or cinnamon sugar. Really? DLC The Ride. <laughs> Each passenger must pay, pay an additional seven bucks to enjoy the final drop. Ridiculous <laughs> <laughs> shirt removing drop. <laughs> so it just shows a crane taking the drop off. <laughs> <laughs> Your digital hospital. Hospital. What? Digital hospital. What do you mean? Like hospital food. Really? On your. All right. A heart monitor. Pay $25 to continue monitoring Pulse. I'm pretty sure that oh. that's what's that freaking, like, life, um, crap. Oh, was guess gone. what? I want to tell you guys a DLC purchase that I made that I absolutely just hate myself for. What? One day, a dad took us to GameStop. I bought Sonic Unleashed because it was on the PlayStation Store, but I'm like, I don't want to install it to the system, so I'll go get the game itself. Oh, it has DLC. I like Sonic games. I like Generations, so I'll get that DLC as well. It's $11 for all DLC packs. I got a network code and the game. So, I bought all the DLC, and they're like time trial mode type of things that I can't beat one level because I suck at the game. <laughs> Right. I just every fucking thing because I can't beat any of them. Because it is all too hard for me. I bet Tails, you would play it all. You'll beat it in five seconds. Me, right. I can't. Hey. Okay. All right, you guys know what's stupid? <coughs> Hold on. Right. Hold on. Here's another worst thing they could charge for DLC. Life. Life. Oh, my fucking God. What? Le Level up, your age cap has been reached. Pay more money to increase your age cap. <laughs> okay. Childbirth. 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 Pay four hundred and nineteen million dollars to have your baby burn. <laughs> Isn't that what you need to pay in the first place? No. I don't know. Okay. Hey, 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 you want on the plane? Pay 30 bucks. You want to wear your clothes? 50 bucks. You want to bring your stuff? 200 bucks. You want a seat? That that would be 200 bucks too. You want a seatbelt? Oh, that'd be 200 bucks as well. Oh, you you don't want to drop out of the sky? You okay, want to five bucks. Your seat? You want to choose your seat? That'd be 400 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> this is a sadistic fuck. 
<laughs> I know it's all for jokes, but still, this could be real. It's scary. <laughs> okay, movies. Ten dollars if you want the rated G version. If you want PG, it's thirteen. If you want PG thirteen, that'll be fifteen. Oh, you want the rated R? That'll be seventeen. Oh, NC seventeen. That'll be twenty bucks. But if you want the extended sex scenes, that's that's fifty. <laughs> When I could just go on Pirate Bay and get that stuff for free. Um. Okay. We're like not even really talking about DLC. It's kind of a DLC concept, but we're not actual yeah. DLC talking yeah. anymore. Yeah. Okay. 99 cents to flush a toilet. Oh my Here, god. Let's, let's get back to actual video games, All right. guys. Three, three bucks to plunger if it gets clogged. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you can leave it for someone else. Alright. <laughs> Alright, let's talk about video game DLC. Real ones, not made up ones, okay? Oh, $30 to cook a pop touch. I don't give a shit. I don't even like pop touch. Come on, these are funny. Yeah, but let's talk about actual games. Oh, wait, alright, guys, I have, an, I have an amazing idea. Alright, do you guys know the Walking Dead posters I have up in my room? Yeah. $4,000 just to put them up. Oh, that's that's just robbery. <laughs> that's oh, the, you know that's what? The point. Give that's you, the give point. me money. All DLC is stupid. You know why? Because it's crap that could have just been put in the game for free through updates. Well, yeah. Like what's it? But look at the freaking another console, stupid thing. Look at the freaking console ports for Minecraft. They put in a bunch of new stuff and features and free updates. Should they charge for the stupid and crappy texture and skin packs, but still, at least they put actual items in the game for free. Heck, they freaking add, added new trophies to the PS3 version recently. On what? Um, on Minecraft PS the PS3 Minecraft port. Who gives a fuck? Everyone would be playing the PC. I know, but like, still, like they're adding all this new stuff in Minecraft the PS3 port for free instead of doing this bullshit with freaking like five bucks for like remember me buying this thing? oh by the way I have something to say that's sort of like your sex do you remember how you said that like everybody has their own DLC that they made and purchased that they regret yours yeah. is the Sonic Unleashed Buzz, what is yours? The Sonic 06 DLC. Yes, I actually yeah. fucking bought that shit. Right. Yes, I do all remember right. watching you buy all that. Alright, wonder what mine is? What? Saints Row the Third. Get ready for it. You're gonna love this. The Bloodsucker Pack. Oh, yeah. I never. <laughs> you know. I paid, well, I paid six dollars, and then I checked the store. Hey. And then I was watching um one of my friends play their PS3 a few days after I bought it. It was $2. Oh, my God. Oh, like, you know stupid. another thing? As I was saying, like, all those couple minutes ago, until you guys interrupted, DLC is stupid. You know why? Because a couple years, maybe a year after release, it's going to be released as Game of the Year Edition or Collector's Edition, whatever it's called. Like, it has all the things anyway. Like Destiny the Taken King? Yeah, like, I think so. I don't entirely know. But Batman Game of the Year Editions, um, the Saints Row National Treasure, whatever I game. Game of the Year Editions. Oh, you know what else is oh. stupid? All right. Grand Theft Auto 5 Online's shark cards. Oh my god. Yeah, fucking the fucking Steam Summer Sale shit they put Oh on yeah. With that. What they do is what they do with the Summer Sale again? Uh, let me say. All right, this is what they did. The game was $60 on Steam and before a sale, they bumped it up to $80 because it comes with a shark card. And right when the deal sale happened, it was back at $60. And you couldn't buy it without that shirt code. You had to pay sixty full dollars for the game again. I'd rather just. Wanted... Oh my god. 
I am so close to losing all faith in the gaming industry. Yeah, I'm pretty fucking close as well. Yeah. Another thing yeah. about Square Enix, I'm probably not even that excited for Kingdom Hearts 3 anymore. Because I know they're going to add as much DLC as possible, even though they probably say they won't. It's probably going to be like Smash Bros, where it's like, oh, we won't add DLC. Look at it now. 50 DLC packs. 50? Oh, the Just Cause the Just Cause 2 DLC. That was fucking <laughs> shit. Why? Pay. Okay, pay five bucks for a parachute that looks different. Really? Oh, my. Like, yeah! Parachute that looks different. Yeah, parachute, dang it. Bits and bone parachute! You know what's sad? <laughs> I actually bought it. <laughs> that should be the DLC you regret. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say five? Yeah, five bucks. <laughs> five. Five. Five, 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 five. Five. Five dollar. Five dollar <laughs> color <laughs> changing parachute. <laughs> money, 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 money. <laughs> Ugh, I just hate the LC. <laughs> Some of it is really good. Like, DLC that releases a while after launch. I don't find DLC to be bad. Yeah, because it's Just something that, like, they maybe add. Like, they, it's something that they knew that they came up with this game. Like, DLC, I like the concept of it. Oh, because like, oh my god. Like you said, DLC. Typing of the Undead Overkill. It's a learning game. Five bucks. I mean, 15 bucks. Uh, to, to learn the new words. Ah, uh, you know what? I have to say one thing. Even though if I don't enjoy this as much, but the best DLC pack I've ever seen in my life was the Red Dead Redemption Undead Nightmare. Yeah, yeah. I, it I, came I, out. I, I, it came out after the game's release, a while after it. Like, after I think it, I and least, gave I think you a I new think, game. Yeah, like I think I, I think it That's came out about a year or two after the game's launch. That's how you do DLC. Rockstar does a very good job with this DLC. Even Grand Theft Auto Online's DLC. Even though I sometimes feel like they're spending more time on that. It's all free. Yeah. You, not, nothing's gonna kill you. All it's right. free DLC. Why not? Yeah. This one says the worst DLC. The silver and gold Mario Amiibo. Oh, yeah. Why? Why are those? Th Let's talk about amiibos as well. I guess for a little bit, not not too long. Yeah, Some of them are cool. Some like, of them are like, interesting. Like the Mario, like the Super Mario 3D, um, 8-bit pixel amiibo. The the Mario Maker amiibo is an interesting one. The cool ones is pretty much every single other one because it's cool to have a little Nintendo figure. But the golden and silver Mario's are the two stupidest, weirdest Amiibos I've ever seen in my life. I bet I could buy a normal Mario Amiibo and paint him gold and say it's the gold one. Sure it isn't, but still. Wow. What's next? Platinum? Bronze? Zinc? What does zinc <laughs> look like? Copper? Copper? <laughs> Bro, <laughs> you made out of pennies! That would be <laughs> No, like they actually glue pennies together to make a big Mario me, bro. That'd be cool. <laughs> and it, it's like 50 bucks because it's like 50,000 pennies. <laughs> <laughs> but they need to make a profit, it, so it's gonna be like 60. That would be kind of funny to see. <laughs> yes. In another work. You know what? Another interesting amiibo is the Yuan Yoshi ones. I thought those looked actually kind of cool. But I, I, I don't have Yoshi's I, Wally World, so I'm not gonna get one. Yeah, I haven't seen that yet. I've seen them. They're like GameStop. Oh. Oh, remember when, like, Rosalina came out and stuff? They were, like, very, very rare online. Uh, yeah. No, they're not anymore, and what I- I actually have a Rosalina, and I got it for like, 25, I think 26 bucks on Amazon. 
a couple weeks afterwards, it went back down to 12. Because they all got restocked. <laughs> so I'm like, well, shit. Okay. Well, shit. <laughs> the first of five for Furry. What? What to about it? To drive a Furry. Hey, it's not as bad as that last shit one. Wait, how much? Is it? How much is it? A hundred. I think it was like a hundred and sixty Microsoft points. How much is a hundred and sixty Microsoft points? I think around like a dollar and thirty cents, two dollars or something. That is not bad. But the Sims, it's stupid, but not <laughs> bad. Like the Sims. The stuff pack. Oh yeah, I, that DLC is still up on the freaking PlayStation Network store. New Which, stuff, brand new stuff for The Sims. Guess how much it is? How much? How much? Fifteen bucks. Fifteen. Which one? Sims three, two, one. I don't know. The article oh, just uh, said Sims. Oh my god! Oh, here's another thing. I, I'm gonna talk about it because I count it as DLC. All the Sims multi packs and stuff like that, like Sims dating and Sim vacations and Sim um seasons, Sims seasons, holidays. Why? Updated into the game, like yeah. not I think in Sims a freaking expansion disc. <laughs> Yeah, we, we got, like, one Sims 2 on the PlayStation 2, which a lot of people said that one was awful, and I thought it was pretty good. But on PC, I, I think we got, like, PC got, like, 25,000, not 25,000, but, like, a lot of expansion packs. Yeah. I, I personally, I enjoyed the um, Sims 2 on PS2 port. I liked it. Yeah, we had a lot of fun with that game, but let's... That's besides the point of this pot podcast. Hashtag podcast. So, oh, all right. You know what's stupid? All right, Goat Simulator on Steam. I forgot. So how, stupid. I forgot how much it is, and like the regular game is. But do you want it with zombies? Oh, the Goat MMO thing. Yeah, the zombie Goat MMO. They have MMO that on the Xbox. Xbox. I don't know if they have it on the PS3 or not. I haven't checked. Oh, I have to say one thing about Goat Simulator. I hated how they censored the console versions, but that's besides the point. Yeah. It's just kind of censorship. It's bullshit. Well, video this video is about DLC. Yeah, I get that, but I want I want to fucking rant about video game censorship. Depends what kind of censorship. Just censorship in general. Well, if I go to GTA 4 and I want to see, and Roman says that there are naked women titties in there, I want to see what he says. I want to see it. I don't want to go to a strip club and then her fucking bra. I want to fucking see it. All right. Music game. Oh. Those are the worst things of censorship. The worst parts of censorship is music. Yeah. Like a TV show being censored, fine. It yeah. sometimes I makes remember it how I remember how they completely fucked Green Day Rock Band because of the censorship. Yeah, because every song censored. Yeah, I remember um um. I Def remember Jim Rapster is one of them too. Yeah, because like they like, they, they, they get they, sued for a lot of fucking money. Yeah, they got sued for a <laughs> million dollars. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's talk about good DLC packs. How about that? Let's stop all the ranting. Let's talk about some good DLC that we actually really love. Yeah, because not all DLC is bad. Is that, yeah, not all of it's bad, like you just said. Um, I really can't think of anything on top of my head right this second. Do you guys have anything? Um, no, all I have is Undead Nightmare. Oh, alright. Yeah, Undead Nightmare. Um, There's also... um. The Evil Within. I know that this game got up 
quite a few bad like review scores like on Metacritic or th I think and stuff like that. No, um, the game did. I think the game just had bad reception overall. Oh well, my point is um. I think my phone just vibrated or someone else's did. Mine did. But anyway, uh -huh. um, they, I feel like, um, Evil Within got the DLC situation correct, because wanna know what they did? What? Um, they released, like, the Asylum, the Asylumment, which gives you, like, I think a few new levels. I don't remember how many it gives you, but I know that it gives you at least one new level. And, uh, from, I am in this Facebook group about the Evil Within, and th I've been seeing a lot of positive stuff about it. Um, someone also put up a video of, of them playing through the entire DLC. The video was like 15 minutes long. That's like 15 minutes long for a 15 minute DLC. How much was the DLC? $15. Yeah. Like, not... That wasn't a great it's not perfect, price, but... Price. It's but it's, it's better than friggin' six dollars to be able to suck someone's blood in friggin' Saints Row. Yeah. Oh, I got a good one. Sonic Lost World. It's all free. Even though there's two DLC packs, it's free. Even though it's two levels. Like I just said, it's free. Yeah. Really? Are you gonna turn down free DLC? I wouldn't. Like, I don't care if I like it or not. If it's free DLC, I will download it. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to tell another worst DLC. What? Minecraft texture packs. We already talked about that, though. Oh, yeah, I, thought we... you talked about, I thought you talked about skin packs. We, we talked, we talked about, about skin packs and textures. Yeah. We like, mostly yeah. talked about the skin packs, though. Oh, that's weird. There's like a, a game in my box. No, wait, that's just the Uncharted 3 booklet. Never mind. <laughs> Ugh. So is that all we got about DLC? Is there really not a lot of good ones we've talked about? Well, there are a few more. Like, um, Evil Within had a few good DLCs. Um, you uh, mentioned Saint that already. Saints Row 4 had some good DLCs. Like, like yeah. Enter the Dominatrix. Yeah, the power, how the to Super Power ones and the story packs. Not yeah. Dominatrix. That one was stupid and boring. The, the Christmas one was very good. I yeah, like I that one. Yeah, I loved that one. Like, that's my, like, I actually let's play that whole thing on YouTube. Zero people watched it. And it had a third party no copyright notice because it had the song Jingle Bells in it. Jingle Bells, Jingle Bells, Jingle Bells. Jingle bells. Flag me, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want you to do it to my videos like the the uncensored live stream. <laughs> We're just so naked tits. <laughs> um. Alright, well, yeah, I think that that's all we got for this podcast. Yeah, I think it's, it's an amount of time for a normal podcast. Yeah. Well, I'm going to end my podcast here, so make sure to give this video a like and subscribe and make sure to comment in, on your guys' DLC experience and make sure to check out the articles below I will in the description below. I will make sure to put every article that we read off for you guys tonight to in the yeah. description below. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, bitch.